Hi friends. So in this lecture, in continuation to the last lecture, we will see the modified Mendelian's inheritance. So in the previous classes, we had discussed about the Mendelian inheritance. We had seen the monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross, and now we will see that how Mendelian inheritance was modified or the modified form of Mendelian inheritance were detected by various scientists. So in this uh, today we will be concentrating on the intra allelic interaction. So there are two type of interaction or rather you can say allelic interaction. There are two type of allelic interaction. One is intra allelic uh, interaction which is also known as allelic interaction and another is inter allelic interaction or you may say it as non allelic interaction so here in this lecture i will be discussing you the intra allelic interaction so the general term for allelic interaction can be given as dominance so for allelic interaction or intra allelic interaction intra means within so within allele matlab within a gene there will be two allele at a locus so the, in the general term for allelic interaction it can be, can be given as dominance and based on degree of dominance it can be further categorized into four categories the first one is complete dominance then incomplete dominance codominance and overdominance so these four categories if you see these four categories are the example of intra allelic interaction so what does dominance means so dominance means a type of allelic interaction in which one allele completely block you just uh, give concentration here that it will completely block the expression of its allelic partner so when it is completely blocked then it is called as dominance and complete dominance means phenotype of the heterozygote is same as that of the homozygote so both the homozygote animal and heterozygote animal will have same kind of phenotype so that is dominance now now what about incomplete dominance so first we will see incomplete dominance then we will go for codominance so there is minute difference between incomplete dominance and uh, codominance still there are many theories about whether these two are different or these two are same uh, many people are believing that domin uh, codominance or incomplete dominance they are actually one and same but at what level we are visualizing the trait it will depend on that thing whether it is incomplete dominance or codominance but as of now here in this uh, lecture i will be telling you that difference between incomplete dominance and uh, codominance which is necessary for a student of undergraduate level so what is incomplete dominance so first of all the synonyms of incomplete dominance it is also known as partial dominance or semi dominance so what is incomplete dominance it is interaction between alleles we know that it is intra allelic interaction of a locus in which the phenotype of heterozygote is intermediate to the phenotype of two homo homozygote so in case of dominance homozygote and heterozygote were having same phenotype but here phenotype of heterozygote is intermediate of the both the homozygotes so what is it indicate that both the alleles will express their character and there will be some kind of intermixing between the characters or traits characteristic of the traits so here you can see with example that chestnut horse when crossed with white horse it will produce palomino horse so this palomino horse is displaying the characteristic that is coat color intermediate between the chestnut horse and white horse 
another example which is a famous example in animal or a, rather you can say it is in poultry it is black chicken crossed with white chicken and this is an example in andalusian fowl not in all fowl but in andalusian fowl when black chicken is crossed with white chicken in f1 generation you will get all blue chicken so this blue chicken is intermediate between the black and white chicken that means both the traits both the alleles will express their characteristic but there will be intermixing between the characteristics and it will produce different phenotype again when f1 was intersemating in case of andalusian fowl it will produce the phenotypic ratio in the form of 1 is to 2 is to 1 that means 1 will be black 2 heterozygote will have having the blue phenotype and 1 recessive homozygote will have white phenotype so that means how this mendinian ratio is getting modified we know in mono hybrid cross in normal mendelian ratio phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 but here this phenotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 however the genotypic ratio will be same as that of the normal mendelian ratio so that genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 but the instance intermediate phenotype is different from both the homozygote or it is intermediate between the both the homozygote so the phenotypic ratio will get changed and it will be converted into 1 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 now similar to incomplete dominance there is one more phenomena that is codominance so i i told you earlier that incomplete dominance and codominance there is a very minute difference between them but here for you or for the students at your level you should know that there is difference between incomplete dominance and co-dominance as in co-dominance both the genes both the alleles of a genes will get expressed but their expression will not be intermixed how you can understand it with the one example so first of all we see it is an interaction between alleles of a locus in which both the alleles of the genes are equally expressed so that phenotype of heterozygote exhibit a mixture of phenotype of both the homozygote so it appears that it is similar to incomplete dominance but if you see the example here you can see the white cattle when crossed with red cattle and this uh, a, example is in shorthorn cattle. So when white cattle crossed with red cattle, you will get F1 generation, you will get rayon cattle. Rayon cattle. So what is rayon cattle? The hair or the uh, hairs on the coat of cattle, if you will see, there will be the patches of white and red. Or rather you can say brown. White and brown. There will be small patch of white small patch of brown in the intermediate phenotype so the this hair patches are they are not intermixed but both the alleles will get expressed so again when rayon cattle was intersemating here you can see when rayon was crossed with rayon then you will get again the phenotypic ratio as 1 is to 2 is to 1 that means there will be intermediate phenotype having intermediate genotype will have different phenotype so this here you can see in the punnett square this one animal will be completely red another animal will be completely white but this intermediate animal will have rayon phenotype similarly the second example is mn blood group system in human what is mn blood group system if you see the when genotype is m and m the phenotype is M because it will have antigenic presence on RBC of M antigen. Then when there is M and N genotype, M and N areas, the genotype phenotype will be MN because it will have antigen both for M and N. And N and N, when uh, alleles are N and N, the phenotype will be N and the antigen present will be N only. 
so that means this m when m and n are present the phenotype will be different that is mn and it will have both the antigen that is m and n so this is example of codominance the next one is next is over dominance so what is over dominance over dominance means uh, if you see the term over means above and dominance so above the dominance so what is this this is interaction between alleles of a locus in which phenotypic expression of heterozygote so what will happen here the phenotypic ex expression of heterozygote will exceed both the homozygote the it, uh, it will exceed the phenotypic expression of either of the two homozygote or both the homozygotes so here example is heptaglobin so heptaglobin the ty types of heptaglobin so here you can see when genotype is h1 h1 the phenotype will be hemoglobin heptaglobin 1 type of heptaglobin heptaglobin 1 when it is h2 h2 the phenotype will be heptaglobin 2 but when it is h1 and h2 both the alleles are present the phenotype will be h1 h2 and h3 one more phenotype will be there three so heptaglobin 1 2 and 3 so this what is heptaglobin you have already studied it in physiology if you are not remembering go to the notes of physiology and you will find what, uh, what is heptaglobin similarly in case of sickle cell anemia this is also very famous example you have uh, already studied in your uh, 10th class or plus 2 classes and again you might have studied in physiology also so what is sickle uh, sickle cell anemia uh, genotypically if you will say see the survival rate of genotypes so when the genotype is hba hba that means hemoglobin type is a and a the survival rate is high when it is s and s that is hemoglobin is having sickle cell uh, sickle shape uh, rbc in that case the survival rate is very low but when it is hba and hbs the allele hba and hbs is present the phenotype that means survival rate will be the highest but this that means it is exceeding both the genotype or both other uh, phenotypes so that is over dominance so these are the intra allelic interaction uh, that is uh, observed that has been observed in the nature so in the next class we will see some other interaction or some other modified mendelian inheritance and most probably in the next lecture i will be discussing you about the lethal genes so till then thank you thank you very much